How are you thinking about, and last question before we get into the rapid fire, how are you thinking about the volatility, right? So obviously, uh, it's one of the most volatile assets uh, that you could have chosen. Um, and when we talk about volatility, it's not like, hey, may go up 2% two, 2 or down 2%. You can have double-digit percentage days, uh, up or down. Um, does that change your strategy? Is this just your long-term holding it for you know years and years? Kind of, how, how do you think about that? <clears throat> well, so first of all, I think the volatility is falling. And I, I, I think all you got to do is look at the chart. And I, there's a narrative like everybody's like, everybody wants to say that they know something about crypto, wants to jump up and say, well, you know, it's volatile. Well, well it was volatile in 2017, you know, when like individuals are trading it on their mobile phone. But yeah, think about what I just, what I just said about how we acquired it. We buy $175 million. I'm in the market every minute of the day for multiple days in a row. I'm damping the volatility. One person like me, right? In every, every trading day that I'm in the market, I'm damping it to the upside and the downside, and I'm damping it with large sums of money, right? And, and so how many, of, how many institutions does it take before they damp it, right? Like I'm the... I'm the dude, I'm like, okay, well, I'll pay an extra whatever, but stop this thing. I'm holding it for a hundred freaking years, right? It's like, I'm not really, I'm not the day trader guy that's worried about it. So I think that as the institutions come in and as they buy bigger amounts, they're damping the volatility. And that's my first observation. My second observation is crypto trades 168 hours a week. Every other asset trades 35 hours a week at best and sometimes less on holidays, right? You're trading. I look at this thing in awe. You know, when I look at these exchanges, Saturday night, 9.30 p.m., and I'm watching the thing stream and I'm like, this is the most magical, hardest working security in the history of the world. And, and I would think everybody ought to be in awe that the thing's not going haywire. It's remarkably non-volatile in that regard. Like, in my opinion... You could go and you could go into the market and you could liquidate 50 or 100 million dollars worth of this stuff in a matter of an hour, any hour of the day, any day of the week on a holiday. And maybe you take a 3% haircut. But go try to liquidate 100 million dollars of gold on a Saturday afternoon in Istanbul on the street side. You know, so by, so that my answer is I don't think it's that volatile, but my other answer be honest. Let's be honest. There's a negative real yield on everything else I can buy. Okay. Gold's got a negative three, four, five percent real yield, in my opinion. We talk about why. Bonds have a negative real yield. It's just a question. We're just going to debate is it a seven percent asset inflation or 15 percent or three percent? But it doesn't really matter. Every other non-volatile asset is a negative real yield, which means that everything else is lifeblood draining out of my veins. So if my choice would be to accept some volatility and live, or I had non-volatile cash that bought 30% less in a matter of eight weeks, non-volatile that was 30% less, at that rate, you're not going to make it through the decade. And so vol volatility is just something you got to live with. But I, I, but I really think there's, there's, there's a group of crypto enthusiasts that lived the last 10 years. And, and they are the result of their experience. They lived through a difficult time and they're heroes. And I respect them. But you live through that. You live through volatility. I think the next 10 years are not going to look like that. I think the next 10 years, as you have people coming in that are, that are moving hundreds of millions of dollars in and out of the market, they're going to tend to damp all the volatility and the, and, and the institutions are going to damp it because in their interest. And so if there is any, it's just going to be to the upside for the good of everybody. And otherwise, not a big problem for people.